Hey, this is Tidepool Jim at Gulf of Maine. Just uh, wanted to show our viewers a pretty neat little starfish that I find on the coast here. And uh, in eastern Maine, Cobscook Bay, where I do my collecting. Today I was out on the water and I had a client looking for some of these uh, for some lab experiments. And was able to go down at low water and find this particular guy, which is uh, we usually call a slender star. But there's another unique quality about them is that uh, they have their own way of uh, reproducing that is sort of atypical of most sea stars. Now here uh, in our waters, our cold uh, Atlantic marine waters, we have sun stars, both the purple sun and the, and the spiny sun star. We have Forbes stars, we have the common sea star, there's a really beautiful one called the blood star. Um, there's bat stars and horse stars. But uh, what I want to show our viewers today was um, most starfish are broadcast spawners, i.e. they produce both sperm and eggs, they release them into the water column, and, uh, and then uh, once the, the, uh, the fertilized uh, organism results, they drift off uh, as, a, uh, as a larvae and eventually settle out of the water column or attach to seaweed or rocks or whatnot, and away they go. These starfish, and I don't know if you can see this or not, I'm trying to do a close-up, actually receive the sperm um, into the starfish and the eggs and they brood or hold the young for a certain period of time so that they are protected by the parent and I'm not sure if this is a male or a female if both males and females um, brood uh, or it's just the females but you can see here there's uh, and the lights not the greatest but pull this light down here there are probably, I don't know, two or three hundred young starfish right in amongst, right near the mouth of this star. So let's see if we can pull a few out and take, a, take another look. Here you can see some of the some of the young are out on the ray. You can, close enough, but there's literally hundreds of baby starfish, and I assume once they reach a certain stage in their development, they must eventually be released, and then they're off on their own, living their own life. So I, I think it's a pretty unique strategy for giving uh, the young stars. A, a better chance at survival. So uh, the genus of these guys is uh, Lepasterius, L-E-P-A-S-T-E-R-I-A-S, -E and it's a slender sea star, but also called a brood star. And you know, similar to like the way a uh, well, not similar, but you can uh, draw an analogy with a uh, kangaroo with its young, keeping the young in that pouch and hanging on to it until it's fully developed. So thank you for tuning in. If you like our channel, subscribe and uh, we'll try and keep bringing you some good videos about tide pool life and sea life here on the coast of Maine. That's it for the Broodstar.